fish though. It is a fish. Look at the fish. Hey, little buddy. Hi, little buddy. Oh, you're so tenacious. So tenacious. Hi. Gosh. You sure do like these spinning blows and leeches. Come on. Come on. Get out. Here we got it. Future. I see you. Bye, right, buddy. Another eater. Another eater. Whoa, I'm sorry. That's okay. Whoa, oh, oh. I'm sorry for hitting her. I'm sorry. See him. Num 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 num. God, they're beautiful fish. There he is, there he is. Come on, there, oh, oh. Fighting one now, we got one going on the board out there. Little dink. We're just saying how it slowed down and then dink, 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 dink. Both the, uh, this one and the offshore started going. He's a little guy. Now we're gonna go and set that one. Look at that, look at that, he's still there. He's bobbing it down. See it, see it, he's there. He ain't big, but he's there. So we were just talking on how it slowed down. Oh, sure. Yeah, he's there. You see that? Hopefully you'll get the head tug on the, on the flag a little bit. Like I said, he's not... Uh, not huge. Oh, that's a good, oh, no, 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 no. That was a good fish. Ugh. That was a good fish. Ah, man, did he smoke that thing. Come on back. Sometimes when you take it and just feed it a little bit of line, it will take it. There it is. There it is. Nice fish. Oh, 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 almost saved it. All right, little buddy. Go get your daddy, mommy. Oh. It's a good fish. Stand down. Got some head tugs. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh. That one's gonna eat good. That one's gonna eat good. Look at that. Perfect size for eating. I think on that note, we're gonna take that one. And we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna go and clean some fish eat some lunch, but we're going to go find some clear water. I'm going to go swimming. Look at that. Look at that good eats. Yes, sir. Come on, Miss Susie. Good job. Same to you. Feels good though. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. Just got to the fish lane and snatched over at Woodland, like I said earlier. Jumped in, got cooled off, now we're drinking beer and air conditioning and we're gonna get these things cleaned up and go get some lunch. 
So it was a fantastic day. There's 13 there. No doubt in my mind that, uh, I mean, we, we threw a lot of fish back. We threw a lot of fish back. And uh, we quit by one o'clock. So it's one of them where we fished from eight to one. Three people could have had your women. It was nonstop action all morning. A lot of people out there were struggling. You know, it was one of them where we talked to a lot of people. They were like, yeah, we got one or two in here and there. And we did really well. You know, we were using spinner baits. We were using spinning loads. We were using uh, all that, trolling about 1.2, 1.4 miles an hour. Use bottom bouncers right on the bottom. You know, if you weren't touching bottom or ticking bottom, you weren't uh, you weren't catching fish. Not only that, we missed some good fish. We missed a couple of really good fish. We got a couple of really good fish. You know, but these these here are the perfect eaters. If you're gonna go somewhere and you're looking for, you know, your trophy fish, you can come here. We proved that yesterday. We got our 29. But you're not gonna get a ton of them, okay? You're gonna get a ton of these good eating fish. They're perfect pan frying, perfect deep fried fish, and uh, there's nothing else to say. So I'm gonna drink my beer, I'm gonna get these things cleaned up, and we're gonna be uh, eating a little num nums pretty soon. If you don't take a Ziploc along or a food saver or backpack along on your hunting and fishing trips, you might want to reconsider doing so. It's quite convenient when you get home. You throw it in the freezer. After being gone, now you have time to spend with your kids or hopefully your kids are with you, but if they're not, you know. Because what really sucks is when you get home from a vacation and then you have to process all your wild game. You gotta take that time once you get home and the trip is over. You're kind of sad that your trip is over. It's a lot nicer when you get home, throw it in the freezer, and you look forward to your next one. First thing that happens is you take it out of the freezer when you can reminisce on the trip. So we just came in from a day of fish and we cleaned up our fish, but it is very important to me to explain these fish cleaning stations are there for us as our convenience to clean our fish so you're not doing it at home, you're not doing it, getting it on your counters at home and dirtying that up. You can come in here, you can clean it up, I guarantee that you uh, would clean it up more at your house if it was your house. Act as if this was your house. Make sure that it is clean, make sure that it is exactly how you got there or it should have been when you got there is nice and clean, pristine, and ready to rock. It's nice when you walk into a clean facility, make sure that you take the time, clean it up, and uh, that way it will always be there for you to use in the future. But if you don't clean it up, they're gonna close it down, and then all of a sudden you're gonna have people griping, and if you're the one that leaves it dirty, it's your fault. You know, people are gonna start griping because, oh, they closed down the fish cleaning station. There's only one reason that they would close it down. If they have one there for you to use initially, because they want it to be convenient for you to do it. Take the time, clean it up, and everybody's happy. And then the next time you go fishing, and you step into an air conditioning fish house like it is here at Woodland or over at uh, Sleep In when we're, where we're staying, it's there for you. It's nice. It's a good place to have a beer and talk to other people that wouldn't fish it for the day.